Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Tis I, the Jabbering Magpie, returning with you for a bit more Shadowrun Dragonfall. If you don't recall, we were infiltrating a secret corporate headquarters in order to break into a chap's apartment with my frilling team of actually quite useless electrician civilian lady, a tussled, soft eyed, rather sexy elf man who doesn't speak a word of fucking English. And James, who's actually a spot of a penis, actually. He's a right dickhead. So let's go. I, this is a security restricted room. Hi. The guard steps forward, interposing himself between you and the terminal. Oh, goody, I sense it's Robo Guard voice time. Your security clearance doesn't authorize you to be in here. Ah, uh, we're doing a building-wide maintenance sweep of all major systems. Want us to take a look at your terminal? You know that I can't do that. You don't have a, the appropriate clearance to touch this terminal, let alone service it. Besides, it's been running great since the other maintenance team worked on it last week. I'm surprised that you don't have that in your records. Oh, I love the RoboGuard voice. It's actually the voice of Mr. Bottletron from Clone High. I don't know if I mentioned that, but... Fuck yeah, Clone High is an awesome series, and everyone should watch it. You know how is it with us in management? Left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing. It's ridiculous. Story of my life. You have my sympathies. Well, we'll be on our way then. Bye. Take it easy. Okay. So he's no good to us. We've got a bulletproof suit on, at least, so we can charm our way for a few things. Now, if the other guard was over here, we can blow up this panel to kill him off. The guard stance shifts slightly as you approach. Can I help you? Yeah, we have... You Could you open the door to the utility area? We have some work to do in there. You can't read the guard's expression through his mirrored face, and I suppose body ma language makes it clear that he's staring at you. Fedora is security coded Delta grade. Your ID, ID says you're, you're just a fata, so no, I can't open the door. You're not listening, we have work to do in there. I heard him loud and clear, mop jockey. Now you listen to me. Nobody without Delta clearance gets through this door, period. I suggest that you talk to management. If you really do need to be in here, they'll upgrade your clearance. Otherwise, piss off. Cool down, we're on the same side here. This is dispa a dispatch problem, I'm sure of it. I don't envy you guys having to work with them every day. The guard's shoulders relax. Yeah, I hear you. I swear it's amazing that anyone gets anything done at all around here. Tell you what, you don't need to go all the way back to management. Just call in and get your clearance changed. I'll let the guys in as soon as you the authorization comes through. Nah, I'd better go take care of this in person. But one thing before I go, instead of this week's protocols, they sent us out last week's. Anything changed since then? Unbelievable. You know this makes my blood boil to think of how much money they make. It's people like you and me that keep this place running. And yet the idiots at dispatch pull in triple what we do for sitting on our asses and fouling everything up. Right with you, man. Now about those protocols. Now, let's see if they changed for emergency assistance code from November to Indigo. I think that's it. Everything else should be the same from last week. Indigo. Yeah, thanks. Now, better head back to management to get that clearance issue short sorted. Best of luck, pal. Do us all a favour and call out those idiots at dispatch. Not for it'll do any good. On second thoughts, don't bother saying anything. They just round up getting another raise. Don't I know it. Have a good... Day. Yeah, you too. Oh, he's quite nice. Shame I'm going to have to blow him the fuck up. So, we've got security codes, and this is the only security cat chap, so let's see if we can do anything. I've already told you, you can't be in here. Get moving on, I'll have to escort you out. Yeah, your buddy across the way wanted me to give me a... There's a typo there. Wanted me to give you a message. 
Status indigo, com compromised. Does that mean anything to you? The guard jerks upright in alarm. He said what? Step out of my way, please. Okay, security system. Let's trick it into sending a false po positive. So, guards are withdrawn far, far away from me. Okay, so he's gone off to play with his mate there. So, if we. Zap him! Oh shit, that was a significantly more powerful zap than first anticipated. Sorry guys. Fate a key card added at least. Whee! Jaina, get your shit done. Wordlessly, Jaina pops an access panel at the base of the terminal and begins snipping wires. A few minutes later, she replaces the panel's cover and stands. Alright, that should do it. I've bypassed the security lock on the elevator. We're good to head upstairs. That was quick. I know my way around electrical systems. My father used to own rental properties all over Munich and I helped him maintain them. She smiles so shyly. I've been rewiring buildings since I was a little girl. Touching, I don't need... I don't know what this has to do with anything and gave me to my meeting, but please, by all means, keep waltzing down memory lane. We'll wait. Couldn't care less about your meeting, James, but we should keep moving all the same. James turns and stalks towards the doorway. The others follow behind. Well, he is a bit of a penis. Can't help but be rude to it. It's probably going to come back and bite me in the ass. Alright, up the elevator, and I'll have a refreshing sip of gin and tonic whilst I wait. Mmm. Alright, I'm going to need you to get me to this floor's access panel. I'll be in room 303 on this floor. The door combination is 14291. She glances up at you. Make sure to write that down. Yeah, got it. Okay, once I'm in there, I can put the pale hand of store in maintenance mode. I'll set its key combination to 11111. So we shouldn't have any trouble getting in to plant the cameras. We've been making halfway decent time. Not good, but not terrible. But I can't afford any more delays. He cracks his knuckles. I hope that no one gets in our way, for their own sake. You're not hurting anyone unless I order you to, got that? The Major's lip curls into a sneer. Yeah, I heard you. If I weren't under instructions to follow your lead, this would be a very different conversation. Yeah, well you are, so shut up and deal with it. She shakes her head in disgust. God, I wish that we didn't need you to finish the job. His lips curl into a sneer. Sadly, for all of us, you do. Oh, and by the way, we're going to have words when this run is over. Mouse. A stream of caustic syllables pulls out of the el elf's mouth. His back is stooped under weight of his pack, but his hands are clutched into fists. He rolls his eyes and points a bony finger at the elf. Look, it's trying to speak. I want to get over this, Mags. I want to go away from these people and go home. Why do I sense James is going to stab me in the fucking back? Okay. Which of these would belong to the suit? Apartment 301. Um, 53786. Bingo. Wow. 200 new yen. And he has a fire estate escape in his building. Excellent. That is good to know. Hmm. Do 
Door console, can we hack this one? Huh, damn it, we can't. Okay, 303 is 14291. 4291 And we're in. Okay. Berlin flag, Teddy's vote Dunkeljan poster. Painting! Always behind painting. Moving the painting aside, you find a large maintenance access panel. Jana steps forward with a slight frown on her face. Okay, I guess this is me. Me? She pulls a multi tool from her belt and uses it to lo loosen the bolts that hold the panel in place. Putting up a schematic on the PDA, she examines the terminal's wiring. Hurry it up, woman, the clock is ticking. Don't rush me, this is complicated. Popping the lid on the toolbox, she. Grabs a pair of wire clips, a soldering gun, and a roll of electrical tape. With a grim look of grim determination on her face, she begins to snip into a massive harness of cables that runs through the unit. All right. She taps the elf on the knee. I'm gonna need that thing now. He nods and re reaches back to unsling his pack. Placing it on the floor, he opens it and pulls out a large blue canister. It takes all of his strength to wrestle it up from the ground and into a space in the access panel J Jana has cleared. There you go, you dumb ox. Do you something useful for a change. The elf says nothing. Unburdened by the heavy pack, he stands up straight, and for the first time you appreciate how much larger he is than the corporate mage. He stares down at James, and his hands bunch into fists. Stay cool, man. We're almost done. If the elf stands you, he shows no sign of it. He continues to stare James down, and the mage continues to ignore him. Payload in place, Jana goes back to work. It only takes a few minutes for a crew to sw screw wire and solder the canister into the harness. She inspects her work, nods and turns to face you. She stands and brushes her hair out of her eyes. Alright, job's done. Just need to do a bit of clean up and we can get out of here. Nice job. Yeah, thanks. It wasn't all that difficult. Just a matter of following our employer's instructions. Hey, that's great, but time's a ticking, so let's get moving. He glances at a jumble of wires and circuitry through the open access panel. To hell with the cleanup, we'll be long gone before anyone notices anything. Just a second. second. What was that canister at your point of the terminal? She shrugs. Beats me. For all I know, it could be full of pixie dust. They said that I wanted to wire into all at this junction, so I did. Our employees don't tell us much, do they? You haven't been doing this long, have you? The Lodge doesn't tell you things that you don't need to know, and you don't ask. Your job to do is to do as they tell you, take the money and keep your mouth shut about it afterwards. It's all very simple. The Lodge? The Major's eyes web widen incredulously. You don't even know who you're working for, do you? You lead this team and you don't have a clue. Janna cuts in, her eyes wide. Both of you, shut up, someone's coming. A door, tall, deep-tanned man comes around the corner at a jog and comes bustling into a room. You recognise him as the father that you spoke with in an Augment Tech t kiosk. He stops short when he sees your team and smile falls from his face. You, the guys from the Cyberware kiosk, what the hell is going on? No, uh, hang on, back to his voice. What the hell is going on here? He advances on you full of bluster and bravado. This is my apartment, I own it. You can't just waltz in here and start pulling walls apart without my consent. We're maintenance, look at the uniforms. Yeah, I see that, but it doesn't give you a right to force away into my home and start tearing up my walls. At the very least, you should have given me advance notice. James shoots you an irritated glance. This is a waste of time and I'm already running late. If you don't take care of this idiot, I will. The elf barks something out at James. The sound is uncharacteristically... Ah! Uncharacteristically ugly, all harsh consonants and sibilant hisses. Let's calm everyone, this is a simple misunderstanding. 
misunderstanding my ass. Your friend just called me an idiot in my own home. He wheels on James and hand his hands balled into fists. I want to know your employer number, and I want to know it now. The mage raises an eyebrow, smiling. Do you now? I'm a member of the Homeowners Association for this level. You know what that means? I have a lot of pull with building management. He thrusts an outstretched finger at James. Your days wearing that uniform are numbered, I promise you that. Calm down, sir. There's been a problem at dispatch. You should have received a work order last week. I didn't receive a thing from dispatch, or anyone for that matter. My wife and I are entertaining guests here in an hour and a half, and our living room is ruined. I need to know that you're going to be able to fix this, and that you'll clean the place back up, and that you'll put a new co coat of wax on the floors. I need... The hell of this, I don't have time for this. His hands twisting the claws, he raises them high, and instant later they are wreathed in unnatural purple glow. James, stand down. We do not need to kill this man. The glow intensifies into a skin scintillating torrent of light. The energy lances and stabs out of James' hooked fingers as if it were alive. The man in the doorway recoils in alarm, and his palm slaps down on a plastic disc that has been clipped to his belt. Too later, you recognise the object. A panic button. No alarm sound. Nothing happens. The home in the back pedals, trying to pull a wall between himself and James. He's moving too slowly. Much too slowly. James, let him go, damn it. He tried to bring security down us. He isn't leaving this room. An incomprehensible screech cuts off the major's sentence. In your peripheral vision, you catch a flurry of motion. Your elvish companion is moving, making a beeline towards James. Jana is hanging off him, trying to slow him down, but he barely seems to notice. Stop it, damn it! We need him alive to complete the run. With a kick, he sends a tumbling to the ground and then turns back towards James. Step between the Alpha James. I hate the bastard too, but John is right. We need him. The Elf comes short, staring at you. He sweeps his vision from you to John as James. He exhales heavily and spits out a jumble of broken German. Killer's innocence. Will not stand for. Not slave. All lodgemen. Bastards. I kill all. <laughs> Ouch, Jesus. Okay, uh. I'm afraid, sexy elf man. I'm going to have to kill you now. Alright, well, he's dealt with. Uh, what else do we have? Should have power bolts. That's useful. Okay, so we've tased the motherfucker. And he's dead. Oh shit, I got Jana to kill a man. Never mind. Um. Uh, the mage. Wipes splatters of blood from his cheek with the back of his hand. He attacked me. Our elf, that fucker tried to kill me. You've been insulting him ever since we arrived here. What do you think was going to happen? If you'd have been a bad group leader, you wouldn't have let this happen. You'd have... For the love of God, sh shut up. We're both sick to death of you. You need me to finished a mission. Yeah, that's true, but if you don't shut that smug mouth of yours right now, I'm gonna, you're gonna arrive at your meeting without a tongue. Or in fact, let's just say let's finish the fucking mission. Yep. Let's not piss him off. Uh, 
That's going to look really bad on our report card. Kind of killed one of my teammates. Sorry. In my defense, he was a dick. Can we get into any of these other rooms? Three oh two. I don't know. Is that the fucking override code? I guess not. Yeah, this one's override code is one 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 one. Bingo. Okay, maintenance code done. Let's get the fucking bugs in place. You place the first camera it is to the ceiling with an audible click. James steps forward, his fingers bent, he whispers a long string of hushed syllables that seem to vibrate in your mind. For a moment, nothing seems to happen. Then you blink, the camera's gone. Done. Get moving on to the next one. The second camera clicks into a heating vent. The lens irises to the lens irises to adjust to the light. Yeah, I don't know what that's meant to say. James repeats his previous performance. Hmm, free med kit. When I get through this run, I'm going to tell my handle all about it. You. you won't work for the lodge again, not because you're an incompetent leader, but because I have pull, and I don't like you very much. What do you say about that? Hmm. You can do whatever you want. When we're done with this, for now, <sighs> shut your mouth and finish the job. The infuriating smirk that turns to his face. I will. Uh oh. Damn it, I knew this, this would happen if I didn't kill that spray tan jackass. I knew it. His hands hook into claws and the air seems to shimmer around him. Looks like we're fighting our way out of here. Yet another unnecessary delay. Okay, fuckers. We're making a break. Just beeline it towards that fire escape. The run has gone south. Very south indeed. Like fucking Patagonia south. Oh. And this is why you scope out the area beforehand. I don't think they actually notice we're here. We'll just continue shifting our way along. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. I don't really mind if James dies. But, oh fuck. <coughs> Ooh, that was funny. Okay, folks, we have. Alright, this isn't good. <coughs> Tumnus! You move over here. Um, James, you heal yourself up. And spray acid at this motherfucker. Not good.
Okay. Jana, reload. Finish him off. Actually, Jana ain't a bad character. Throw a power bolt at him. And uh, then I'll get into cover here. Wow, that new armor is actually pretty fucking good. Okay, Tumnus, you move here. Start dealing with this fucker. Jana? Okay, Jana, please reload. And hide behind this. Me, I'll. I can clack him one. Clack the captain a few times. James, you get to patch yourself together. And launch pot shot over there. Seriously, that guy's really tough. Okay, so she's pretty much dealt with. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Heal myself up. Using that handy dandy medkit. through her, please. Why do they always target me? What do they not like about me? Is it something about my personality? Thank you. You idiot. You can heal me. Drown that fucker in acid. Oh, if I can hit him. Come on, nurse, come on, you're letting me down here. Jana, you reload. Boom. There goes another. Okay, there's probably more of these dickheads out here, right? Yes, I was right in that assumption. You know what we're going to do with him? We're going to tase him. Because my discovery is, tasers rock in this game. See, Jesus. It's a hideously powerful stun. Oh, balls. Uh, fine. James, walk over here. Douse this fucker in acid. <laughs> boom. And boom. Jobs are good and 
to the underground where they can't possibly track us on a train car. Mission accomplished. Fucking finally. Call your handle and tell him the job is done. And be quick about it. I need to be on the next train out of here. For once, he and I are in an agreement. I can't put this place behind me quickly enough. All I want to do is go home, hug my cat and forget tonight ever happened. Call Luca Dyer. A few seconds later you hear a telltale click for successful connection. Dwyer's voice pours out into your PDA speakers. Max, the job is done, I trust. Yep. Everything's been completed to your specifications. Very good. Now if you please, give me a status update on the members of your team. The elf from Turn 10 Gear turned on us. You have to put him down. Pajana and James are both alive as well. He clicks his tongue sof softly. Interesting. The elf is dead. Was expected. He was a dangerous and ra reasonable person. Disgruntled, you might say, after years of service in our employ. His betrayal of you was inevitable. Thankfully, with his death, we have gained valuable insight into your character. James's continued survival, on the other hand, was not expected. You are a very patient man, Max. Dwyer smiles. This has been most informative. James's posture stiffens, but he says nothing. You can see a dawning awareness behind his eyes, though slowly the colour begins to drain from his face. Now, let's see how adequately you completed the task that I set before you. Enter the code into your PDA, if you please. 5256719. You type in the code as instructed in your PDA, the screen cuts to static. Moments later, a familiar image materializes on the screen. The penthouse room you've bugged. It appears the live feed from the cameras that you planned. You sure that this room is secure? You're done with full sweep? Absolutely so. We've worn multiple sleeps with a couple of sense packages, and we brought in mage to check for signs of astral tampering. All checks out clean. You're completely safe in here. He lets out a heavy sigh. Thank God. Call downstairs and let my wife and kid know that it's safe to come up. Will do, sir. Is there anything else I can do for you tonight? No, thank you. That'll be all. You have a good... Suddenly the air in the room seems to ignite. There's a blinding flash and your PDA screen cuts to static. Whoops! And that takes care of that. Please return to the close bazaar for remainder of your post and interview will conclude upon your arrival. Hang on, what the hell was that? What did it feel like? Explosion, of course. That one wasn't a surveillance operation, it was an assassination. It was both, and both taxes were carried out to the letter. You should be pleased, Max, for run was a resounding success. When you described this run to me, you left out the part where we planted a bomb. That's a hell of an omission. Janet covers the mouth with a hand, a horrified expression on her face. Oh god, I killed someone. That man is dead because of me. You killed like three people tonight, woman. From the sound of that explosion, I guess that you killed a fair number of someones. I'll show in his bodyguard at the le very least, and probably a half dozen more. A morbid grin creases the mage's thin lipped mouth. That makes you a mass murderer, Mouse. You're moving up in the world. A soft ra a sob racks her chest. She begins to hyperventilate. I can never get away from this. This is going to follow me for the rest of my life. I kill people. I'm a fucking murderer. Say out loud, why don't you? I don't think they heard you in France. I haven't heard a response from you, Max. Shall I make preparation for a post run interview? Are you ready to complete your test? I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say about Mr. Ware. I'll see you soon. Very good. I'll be waiting. Aw, oh, I hope we can recruit Jana as a fucking psychotic taser girl. Your return trip to Kreutz Bazaar is a quiet one. The train from the Frankfurt tour is empty, save for you. There's nothing to distract you from your thoughts. You're finished with the first part of your audition. Luca Dwyer is waiting in Café Sepsi for an ad to administer the se second. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think it is a very nice place to leave it. I have gone a bit over my usual 30 
to 33 minutes thing. But oh well, it was worth it. Right. I do hope you enjoyed that. This is the Jabbering Magpie wishing you a very tatty bye.